Hi all, Cynthia here from NB Pretty Papers up today on the Crafty Moving Getaway with a sketch it out Thursday. So you would have saw at the beginning there that I showed you the sketch and really what I did, I was looking, I had these photos and I was scrolling through um, Pinterest looking for a sketch to use that might go with my photos and each I had I kept come across a lot of photos that had the banner you saw um, below the photos that had the banner and that gave me the idea to do a curtain at the top of my layout of course the photos I'm um, scrapping here are of a play that our boy was in um, last year and yeah so all the banners sort of gave me that thought so that's what I have drawn from the sketch that I've included. It has that distinct banner. I definitely want it one side to be, um, you know, a little bit higher and a bit more obvious that it went up in that area. Don't think you can see that, but that was my plan. So I've gone through my stash and I've pulled out these four papers here, all different collections. Um, I can't quite really remember where any of them come from. I think that um, um, one there that has the reds and the blues, the middle piece there, I think that was a Chamel Starshine. Um, and I really can't remember where the other papers come from. Out of a paper pad somewhere. Just went through and found photos, that, uh, papers that I thought might go well with the photos. Love how this blue background really works well with the photos. The photos have a lot of sort of a brownie orange to them. And you can see I have covered one photo up there. I, there's the whole cast that was in the play. So I've sort of covered them up with a bit of um, baking paper or greaseproof paper or whatever it was that I've put out of the cupboard. Just enough to be able to blur that you can't quite pick out who the people are, but still enough to get a gist of what is happening in the photo. So I have three curtains there and oh, I just remembered that I was going to sew. I forgot about it. I was actually going to get the sewing machine out and run a stitch up where the curtains all pulled up. Hmm, I might go and do something after I finish all this. But anyway, so I actually have three levels of curtain at the top of the page and I'm just trying to get those looking right, marking where I want them to sit and how much of each one I want to show. And then I'll go back in and cut the papers down and glue them down. Just use the tape to tape them down. How was everyone's Christmas? It's finally over. Oof. It can be a bit of a hectic time, isn't it? Hectic time of the year, even if you don't celebrate Christmas, it's still busy. There's just everyone's out and about. You go to the shops and it's just mayhem. So why this video is going live, I am out on our boat. We went out Christmas Eve and we're staying out for five or six days on the boat and the weather is meant to be perfect. So I'm hopefully while you're watching this, I'm swimming away in the water somewhere, having a wonderful relaxing time. Certainly looking forward to that. So I have the top down now, the top papers down, and I've decided that I want to back the papers, but I'm just not sure which paper's the best to use. Um, I really like this paper, but I also like that paper, so, and that's exactly what I do. I do end up layering them up. And I was a bit concerned that if I back all the other photos, which I had intended to do on this one here, the wood grain, the wood grain will go up against the wood grain in the curtain. It might have been a bit too much, but um, 
And uh, I think it works out fine in the end. So I'll back that one and I'll put that up there. Just go off camera a little bit to back that big ones because I need to take, obviously need to take the um, whatever that, the paper on top of it off so I can mount it. Putting that down. So I've double matted this one. This one comes the focal point. So Edward played a a hedgehog or a porcupine or something like that in the play. So the carpet on his back is meant to be his his fur, I guess. Um, and he's got some little cute little nose and whiskers. I, he was in this play about this time last year it's when they done the play but I've really held off doing these photos because they were so I don't know it's such brown and a bit dark I found, I found them a bit hard to scrap but I recently scrapped some other ones of the school play that he was in that I also held off for such a long time before scrapping them and I really like the way that they turn out so I just printed these photos out and I said right just do something with them and um, once again I've really liked the way they come out um, so I must not put off doing photos because I think they're busy or they're dark or you know the the whatever the reason the lighting doesn't work I will just print them out and you'll generally find that you can do it somehow so just going to put that little spot there to do my journaling. There's not a lot of embellishments on here. Um, by the time I put the photos on the curtains and the journaling, it, um, you know, there's not a lot of space left. So there's a couple of little ones. Now you're going to have to, well, I have to apologise here for the camera. I sat, so I film on my phone and I sat it back in the slot and I do have to make sure that I push it right to one side so the little holder doesn't block the camera and as you can see I didn't do that so but I think after a while you sort of don't notice it as much so it's only the last couple of minutes we need to come into the end of the layout I just go gone through my stash and pulled out some reds and some orange that I think and yellow what I think might go with this um, layout just trying to put a couple of little things in I actually quite like that um, stay awesome there in the middle, but it's not where I put it in the end. But looking at that now, I quite like it. So just pulling out the powder. I don't have one of those little nifty tools that you see people using. So I just have some good old powder in a, a jar there and I have a paintbrush in it. And whenever I need to use a bit of powder, I just use that to brush across the back and that does the job just fine. Scattering some things around, grabbing these little leaves because it's all about animals and the woodlands, animals as such, so I think that works in well. You can see I've put my journaling down now. I asked Eddie at the time what he thought about the play and he told me, you know, a few things that he was nervous and um, he was a little bit shy um, to start with. But once he got going, I thought it was really exciting and fun and he loved it when people cheered and clapped at the end. Um, so I just recorded that in the notes, um, in the journaling, and that was pretty much it. So it's quite a simple layout. Um, after the turn the camera off I obviously take off the the piece of paper that's covering that photos and glue that down um, properly and then um, and glue down uh, finish gluing down this little cluster here as well so thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed the process if you did please give me a thumbs up um, jump on and have a look at what else is happening over on the crafty maven getaway channel and stay tuned for some close-up photos talk to you next time catch you then bye